So the bottom line is just a few clouds sneaking in and out through the evening. Very mild evening expected as that cold front works its way through into tonight. There is a small chance we get a sprinkle out of it or a very isolated light shower. I am not expecting much out of this as the night goes on. Temperatures drop into the low 40s. Tomorrow skies become mostly sunny again as we go into the afternoon, but it is going to be a cooler day and that north wind will be whipping in here at times. Uh, so gusty uh, into the afternoon up to 25 miles per hour uh, with the cooler temperatures and high temperatures struggling to get back into the low 60s tomorrow afternoon and then with the mainly clear skies around tomorrow night and the temperatures fall right back down and there's that chance for some patchy frost into the start of Thursday morning. So if you're concerned about any flowers or your garden that you've already planted, may want to make some plans here for tomorrow night into Thursday morning to get those covered or pulled in uh, if you can as uh, we go into Thursday. Thursday does look like a nice day. We'll start jumping the temperatures back up toward that 70 degree mark and the warmer temperatures will stick around uh, right on into your Friday. A uh, 43 tonight scattered clouds that tiny chance of a sprinkle or an isolated shower overnight at uh, tomorrow's high temperature 62. We will see some of that wildfire smoke uh, out of Canada fires there uh, trying to drift through high in the sky and that'll help filter the sunshine at times, but some gusts up to 25 miles per hour, a possibility cold start Thursday morning, afternoon highs in the low 70s and then right back into the upper 70s on Friday. Now late Friday, especially toward evening, the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, the biggest part of the day stays dry. Showers and thunderstorms more likely Friday night should wrap up first thing Saturday morning. And then the rest of the weekend and into next week, looking good, heading toward 80 almost as we go into next Tuesday.